This morning, we take a closer look at last night's 60 Minutes report on the massive industry of data brokers. As Steve Croft learned, they track our every move online, selling that information to advertisers and retailers. Critics say most of us have no idea how much is really being revealed. Most retailers are finding out that they have a, a secondary source of income, which is that the data about their customers is probably just about as valuable, maybe even more so, than the actual product or service that they're selling to the individual. So there's a whole new revenue stream that many uh, companies have found. That data becomes much more valuable when it's married to the personal information that's being volunteered on the Internet. Take Five Solutions, a data broker in Boca Raton, Florida, runs 17 websites like GoodParentingToday.com and T5HealthyLiving.com, where people can share stories about their families and health. What web visitors don't realize is that Take Five's real business is collecting and selling the information. There's all sorts of people coming on now. That's right. And there is also an invisible side to the Internet that most people have never seen. When you're online visiting websites, you may think you're alone, but you're not, as digital privacy expert Ashkan Sultani showed us using a software program called Disconnect, which was created by a former Google engineer. What's this stuff? So when you visit the New York Times homepage, there's a, a, a number of companies on the page that are essentially tracking your visits. When we clicked on NewYorkTimes.com, the software revealed the presence of more than a dozen third parties that the website had allowed in to observe our movements. These are all companies that either place ads or measure um, people's behaviors on that site. So as you're going through the web and doing your searching, You've got a whole crowd following you. That's right. There were ad networks and marketing and analytics companies measuring traffic and page views and cataloging our interests. And some of this information you think is going to go to data brokers? Definitely. Wow, look at that. We found the same thing going on at the 60 Minutes website. They are everywhere. So they're really inside your computer? They're inside your browser, usually, or your mobile device, yes. They're called and you haven't necessarily invited them in? You have not invited them in. And most uh, computers or browsers allow them in by default. Do companies collect your web browsing history? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, this is the primary piece of data collected online. As you click through the web and view car sites or read about the news, um, companies, these third parties, will collect your click stream as you click from site to site to site to see what you may be reading, what you may be interested in, um, what types of things you might buy.